I only got one whisper of just before we did, um, I, I believe it was episode seven, maybe, um, of season one, where you know they would, had mentioned that she was, I was going to meet her parents. Suzanne was going to meet her parents and you know this episode they're going to be visiting and I just thought oh okay great they're going to come and you know we're going to see their faces I did not know those were the faces that we were going to see when we saw them when I turned that page and I saw who her parents were it was actually incredibly informative to me and I think it then just really opened up the scope for me of who this woman really is. You know, when I first, on first examination, when I first met her in the first script, I had uh, made the discovery that this idea of her just being crazy didn't seem, it didn't seem full enough. This idea of just being labeled exclusively crazy eyes and that's all that she's in possession of that didn't feel like that really rounded out who she was as a woman. Um, and thankfully the writer's had so much more to say about who she is throughout that story and then as the journey of her character continued. Um, and then I thought when we did meet her character, character's parents, again, that was um, the only ever, the inkling that I ever had, you know, bef before getting that script of, you know, oh, she ha her parents are alive, you know, getting that little taste of information. But when I met them, it just, it made her even an even deeper uh, character to me because it, it, it says so much without saying anything. You know, if her parents are white, we were okay, clearly she's been adopted. Was she legally ad adopted? Do the parents live in the neighborhood and couldn't manage taking care? There's so many stories and different trajectory and uh, you know, tributaries that can be drawn out of that. You know, that's what um, really helped to make my brain start thinking further about who she is um, rather than trying to limit her.